Hey guys, you want to come in? Got another battle replay for you here on Total War Rome 2. Welcome back to the land of sieges, and this is not good. Not a good start here for Iceni at all. Really all blocked up here. I'm kind of wondering uh, if maybe he just moved his army over here real fast, because I see a, yeah, pretty much all really stacked up. Really, really stacked up. Guys, you don't want to do this. You really don't want to stack up like this. Uh, I did see a unit of the Iceni ambushers way over here, though. They are hidden. Maybe he's going to try and knock down a wall. But all right, guys. Let's get into the beginning of the battle replay. We are on the settlement of Athens town center for that is way over here. Now, normally people attack from the other side of the settlement, but the attackers here are going to try and give this side a go. So, all right, let's take a look at the armies. First, we will look at the defenders. We have a Macedon here being commanded by Graikos. Did see some of his uh, units over there, but what do we got? 110 kills already. Jesus. Uh, second defending army on the battlefield we do have is Bactria being commanded by Scotty G175. And we have a Tylus being commanded by Jaspix. And he's got a unit of the Thracian warriors there. And then we have a Gete being commanded by Seven Knight 97. Getting out onto the attackers. Let's see, Iceni has. Yeah, Iceni's starting to disperse his army a little bit, but still really stacked up over here. Really, really stacked up. But all right, let's take a look at the attackers. First, we will look at Syracuse. Don't really see Syracuse very often, but he commanded by I hate Kush players. Interesting. Uh, he has brought five units of Thorax Swordsmen, three Sam Knight Warriors, two Thorio Spears, two Pikemen, two Pick Top Lice. His general is a Hippaeus Lancer. He also has three units, I think, three units of the Balearic Slingers, one unit of Archers, and he also has one unit of Companion Cavalry. Then we will take a look at Iceni being commanded by I Exams, and he has five units of heroic nobles, four ambushers, two levy freemen, general is a heroic rider. He's got four units of chariots on attack, which is very interesting to see. Hopefully that'll work out. And he also has four units of the Britain Slingers. Moving down a little bit further, we do have an Egypt being commanded by Stacy Uppercut, and that person has brought seven units of Thorax Swordsmen, three Royal Thorax Swordsmen, one of those being the general, one Royal Peltast, one Thorax Pikeman, Two Nubian bowmen, two Cretan archers, one Egyptian cavalry, and a giant ballista. And then we have a Seleucid being commanded by Wet Duck. And he has 12 units of Thorax swordsmen, three shield bearers, one of those being the general, four Syrian archers, and one ballista. But it's actually a mobile ballista. So there you go, guys. Army comps out of the way. Towers starting to move their way forward. A lot of the defending units starting to show up. So let's get ready for the beginning of the battle replay, guys. Don't forget to hit the like button. Drop some comments down below, of course, as well. All right, so getting into the beginning of the battle replay here, guys. And we have some Egyptian Thorax swordsmen climbing up off of the towers onto the wall, but they are just getting annihilated. Absolutely annihilated so far. Down to 137 with that unit, down to 131 there, and they haven't even gotten off the walls yet. Guys, honestly, I would have used tortoises over here. I mean, they did bring some tortoises, but the tortoises are actually making their way all the way over here. They only have three? They only bring three tortoises total? They did. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Uh, the unit of ambushers that were over here are completely annihilated. There was a Bactrian Rural Cavalry that came out. And, yep, there he is right there. 68 kills for him. 58 kills for the Bactrian Horse Archers that came out over here as well. So I wonder, maybe that ambusher unit moved just a little bit too early on in the battle. Might have wanted to keep them over here for just a little while longer. Until the uh, trap, if you will, the trap was sprung. Uh, but Syracuse still bringing some more of his units around over here. He's still got the tortoise moving. Two more towers as well. Bactrian Royal Cavalry going to go back inside the safety of the walls there. Along with the Bactrian Horse Archers. So very well done there by Bactria on that defense. At least, you know, taking out that ambush unit. Uh, back inside here on the walls. Yeah, Thorax Swordsman again just getting ripped apart. Persian Light Archers here starting to fire away. We had another unit of the, I think it was the uh, Thorax Swordsman over here for Egypt that climbed up on the wall. But again, they were annihilated as well. Tribal Warriors, 86 kills for them. Looks like they're still killing off some more of them. Yep, there goes another one right there. Actually, two more. Two more of them just got killed off right there. So that is going to be the end of that. Oh my god, is that a... No. Oh, we have an Ost one on the wall as well. I was going to say, I thought that was a Tribal Warrior. 90 kills for them though. Still trying to press over on this side, Thorax Swordsman, but yeah, just more and more ranged getting into them. 
Celtic Slingers here starting to fire away again. Yeah, I don't think this Thorax is going to last very much longer. See those arrows coming in. Here comes some stones there as well. Just dropping them down really, really quickly. Uh, no real press up over on this side. So though originally, I mean, honestly, those first three units that came out here or came up here on the walls for Egypt, just really, there was no... There was no assistance. There was no assistance for those units. No Seleucid moved up. No ranged move up. You definitely need to get some ranged units up into the battle as well. But all right, over here, we have Syracuse who has knocked down a pretty sizable Royal Breach. He did attack a corner with that uh, with that uh, Tortoise. So that's definitely going to open a pretty sizable Breach. A double Breach, if you will. Looks like the other Tortoise is going to do the same over on this side. Has not started making contact just yet. Uh, but we do have some noble swords here for Gete. Very, very strong infantry unit right there. Armor 80, melee defense 67, melee attack 43, weapon damage 45. And they also do have a headhunt. So very, very strong infantry unit there for Gete. So, yeah, this was, uh, this was taken care of very, very easily by the defenders. Very, very easily by the defenders. They basically just held those units up on the wall. I mean, one of the Thorax swordsmen did kind of get down over here on the ground. But it doesn't really look like they did a whole lot of damage. One Thorax Swordsman from that unit of Bactria was lost to the fight. They got 55 kills. Yeah, brutal. Brutal, brutal, brutal start. All right, so here we go. We got some Seleucid units now coming up. We got some Thorax Swordsman climbing up onto the walls yet again. Now, again, just going to put this in there. Tortoises definitely would have helped right there. Definitely try and make a bit of a breach to get in here. They do have the corner tower neutralized, though. Which is a good thing, but again, no ranged support. Oh, here we go. We got one unit of the Syrian Heavy Archers starting to make their way forward near for Seleucid. What is this? Thoreos? Yes, Thoreos Spears right there. And there's that OS-1 unit up on the wall. So very, very, very slow attack so far to this point. Uh, I see he's starting to move up. All right, he's got some Heroic Nobles moved up here. Again, big time damage that was done by the artillery right there on the front wall. Really, really, really did a solid, solid job. He had over 100 kills. 110 kills, I want to say, the last time we saw it. A lot of death right here in the center for Iceni. I mean, look at all those dead. Look at all that dead. It doesn't look like a lot, but it definitely adds up. Definitely, definitely adds up. But all right, here we go. Another. Oh, he changed. I thought for sure he was going to knock down this breach. Interesting choice to knock down a single breach instead of being able to get that double breach open. All right, we got Seleucid coming in. Yep, maybe, maybe. They are winded already, so he might not want to just bring them right in. Looks like maybe he's going to wait with them. Hopefully he does. Hopefully he does wait. We got some Thoreo Spears right there for Syracuse as well. Starting to throw those peel it through the wall breach. Getting some kills. Getting a couple of kills. Nothing really crazy. Again, need some range unit up here. Need some of these archers to get up there. Oh, no. Back to Imperial Cavalry has come out again. Is he going to get involved, or is he just going to sit here and kind of be a bit of a deterrent from the attack, making their way all the way over here? Now, he's got another tortoise right here. Maybe he's going to try and make this breach. I hope that's what he ends up doing. Back to Imperial Cav, just hanging out. Just hanging out. Looks like they're going to go back inside. Maybe? No, it's just kind of hanging them out up over here against the wall. Has not decided what he's going to do just yet. I mean, there is a couple units of cavalry over here. We do have the Hippias Lancer General and the Mercenary Companion Cavalry over here as well. So I was going to say probably wouldn't be a um, very good idea to try and break through there. Probably would be a good idea, yeah. So he's going to fall back inside the settlement. Again, not a terrible idea. All right, here we go. We got Seleucid inside. Thorax Swordsman taking on Thorax Swordsman. Seleucid versus Macedon at the moment. Looked like Seleucid's unit currently was winning the fight, but again, they were winded before they even got inside the settlement, so the stats already are going to be lower than the Macedon Thorax Swordsman. I mean, well, hidden stats. Hidden stats. I don't want to say stats like the stats you guys can see on your screen right there. The hidden stats are uh, already down as they are winded. Thorax Swordsman from Macedon are completely fine. But all right, here we go. We got some chariots going to try and make their uh, their way inside the settlement here. Now, unfortunately, 
It is a little bit, uh, oh no. Oh God, Gete, Daisy and Heavy Bowman, all four units Daisy and Heavy, yes they are. Yeah, that Thorax is going to die, so yeah, I see me retreating that chariot away very, very quickly. All right, so we do actually have some Seleucid archers made their way up over here, starting to fire away. Let's see what they're shooting at. Are they shooting at this Thorax right here? Well, no, it looks like maybe they're firing at this Thorax, which is unfortunate because they may be hitting their own men in the back, along with this Thorax here for mass. No, 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 he's starting to shoot at this one. Okay, okay. Starting to shoot at it. I mean, he's shooting at the shielded side of them. Factory again, another unit of Thorax Swordsman coming up to the front. Anything over here? There's yeah, still just one unit of Thorax up on the wall. Taking on some of the Macedonian Thorax, but I believe they are getting shot at. Yes, they definitely are. Macedon again just unloading in onto this Thorax Swordsman. You can see steady losing current combat, losing decisively. Active already for the Union the unit there. 127 kills. 129 now for this regular archer unit for Mastodon. Huge, huge amount of kills. Uh, we have some more units coming in here. We go with unit Thoreo Spears. Four Syracuse going to try and make their way through. Breach has been made. Okay, good. He did not open the big, big breach on this side. Uh, we have some Thorax Swordsmen that made their way in. Some raiding horsemen right here for Tylus. Not moving yet, but they're getting kills. They obviously still have their fire at will on. So they're going to throw their javelins right into this thorax. And they are still dying a lot. Already down 50 men. Zero kills. Zero kills. What do we have? Some mercenary axe warriors. Forget they're going to make their way over here. These guys are even tired as well. Did the defenders not have anything over here? Maybe they didn't have anything over here. I mean, they definitely had enough time to start moving stuff over here as the attackers were slowly, very, very slowly making their way over here. But all right, here we go. We got the picked hoplites already inside the settlement. Raiding horsemen still moving around, throwing javelins. So are they out? Are they out? Oh, it looks like they're out. 44 kills. They are going to just flash right into that thorax swordsman. Another big charge or big amount of damage, I should say. 45 kills now for the raiding horsemen who actually are not really that bad in melee at all. 42 melee attack, 34 weapon damage, armor 45, melee defense 41. You can see they're already chevron here. They definitely did not get three chevrons from killing, uh, you know, 50, less than 50 on the javelin volleys there. Noble Swords coming over here, though. That is going to be a problem, but we do have companion cavalry, and here comes the Hippias Lancer General as well. They start making their way inside the settlement. Let's see what they've got so far. Eight kills there. Herpes Lancer General with nothing so far. Did see a something. I saw a banner right there. I didn't see what it was. Did not see. Uh-oh. Uh there it is. What do we got? Tribal Warriors coming over here. Macedon Royal Peltast General. Another Royal Peltast back over by the town center. Uh, the attack over on this side has pretty much slowed down to uh, basically a halt. Uh, they do have another unit of the Thorax there for Seleucid up on the wall. Again, just not really doing very well. I mean, they're winning. It says that they're winning against this Thorax Swordsman unit for the time. Syrian Archers firing in again. Uh, this Bactrian Hillman, I mean, it's Bactrian Hillman unit, but I wonder if they're still firing at this Thorax. Still 46 of them left in the unit. Let's see where they're firing. Are they firing at the Hillman? Nope, they're firing at the Thorax. Broken unit of Thorax Swordsman. There's only 42, so definitely would say uh, they could stop firing. They could absolutely stop firing. But again, Thorax Swordsman being held on the walls here, just getting shot. Back to you again, another Thorax right there, in line, ready to uh, wince this Thorax. For Macedon breaks down, they are losing currently. But all right, here we go. Hold on a second. We got Egyptian cavalry now charging in. A little bit of an infantry sally out for Bactria, bringing the fight to the attackers. Oh, I thought they were going to throw javelins. Are they going to try and throw javelins? I and mean, they only have eight kills. I guess not. Maybe they used them all. Maybe they used them all, but oh boy, here we go. Another, oh, that's the same one. Factory Royal Cavalry now out over on this side. Syrian archers kind of out in the open here. Not really good. That Bactrian and Royal Cavalry could easily come over here, at least hit these two units of Syrian archers. Wonder if that's what his plan is to do. Yep, that Egyptian infantry, oh sorry, Egyptian uh, Thorax swordsman getting knocked down off of the tower as they were attacked. And the Bactrian and Royal Cavalry, yep, gonna get right in there. Now we do have the Thorax swordsman for Seleucid. They were there, but still unfortunately not close enough to really get some javelins off in the beginning. But there you go, nice javelin volley there. 
93 kills for the Bactrian Royal Cavalry, getting closer and closer to 100 kills. But with the infantry getting in there now for Seleucid, I want to say that maybe this Bactrian Royal Cavalry is probably going to get taken out. Nope, he just bounced off again. Now getting into this Syrian Archer unit. Let's see what he's at. 127 kills. Still doing good amount of damage. 34 left in the unit. Let's see, they're all kind of bogged up right here. But they are going to keep on moving. Let's see what's going on back over on this side. So Syracuse inside the settlement. That is really, really big. Noble Swords, 39 kills. Wow, this unit here with eight, and they're down to... What happened over here? That Noble Swordsman unit got destroyed. What happened? Wow. Who got all those kills? Slingers with 48. The Arrow Towers might have been doing the damage. Might have done a little bit of damage there, but all right, here we go. Companion Cavalry making their way through the settlement, and I think they're going to take a little bit of a javelin volley. Let's see, will these tribals get them off? No, they're in, sh uh, keep switching them in and out of shield wall. So unfortunately for this Celtic Slinger unit right there for Tylus, they are definitely going to suffer a lot of losses. Yeah, there they go. Oh my God. 70, 80 kills, climbing up to 100. That, that Celtic Slinger is out of here. Out of here completely. Tribal Warriors still switching in and out of shield wall. I'm not really sure what's going on with that unit. He absolutely, if he had come over here faster, he absolutely would have been able to at least get a javelin volley off, maybe kill some of that companion cavalry unit. But there you go. Oh, what is that? Is that elephants? It is Indian armored elephants for Bactria. Got to keep an eye on that part. Definitely have to keep an eye out over there. All right, so we have Iceni chariots now coming in. They've already lost three with zero kills. Unfortunately, he's just kind of got them sitting right there. Definitely needs to keep on moving them. We have the Dacian heavy bowmen up on this tower here. Using that height advantage, 64 kills so far for that unit. Uh, this attack over here seems to have been pretty much halted yet again. So we got more Seleucid units making their way forward, but Bactria... Oh, actually, wait a second. Bactria came out. Bactria came out. A lot of Thorax swordsmen coming out over here, breaking a lot of these Egyptian units. The Greek Ballista. Where is the... Oh, he's back here. Only 73 kills, maybe. Oh, did was he the one think he might have been the artillery that knocked down that wall right there to take out the ballista interesting very very interesting guys i gotta say this has been an interesting battle to this point pretty sure there are a decent amount of newer players in this battle so try not to be you know too mean in the comment section below because we kind of want new players to keep playing we don't want to you know kind of bully them and get them out of here and not have them want to continue trying to learn on how to become possibly better players in the future. Lorax Swordsman here, unit is losing decisively. Looks like they are pretty much surrounded. Yeah, they are surrounded. Another unit of the Thorax coming over here for Egypt. Going to continue killing this Lorax Swordsman off there for Bactria. 111 kills for them at the gatehouse itself. This unit actually is doing a good job. He's holding this unit in place, which is allowing these arrow towers. Actually, both of these Bactrian Thorax Swordsmen are doing a great job. Really well done right there, position-wise. Holding these these three, now third unit of Thorax Swordsmen have come over here for Egypt. Holding them in place, and allowing the arrow towers to continue firing at them. Uh, Persian Light Archers up on the wall here, I'm not really sure. It says that they're firing. Oh, we actually have a unit of Cretans that have joined the wall as well, the wall defense. Firing down here and just getting more and more shots into these Thorax. Really blobbed up units here for the attackers. And oh, I just saw the banner. Elephants making their way over here. Nope, they don't need to. They really don't need to. The defenders are doing a fantastic job to this point. Uh, where is that chariot that came over here? Did he pull them back outside? Is this them right there? Down to 14. That may be that chariot unit right there. Now this is, I will say, this is an opportunity right there. For Iceni to get that chariot in there, get them to start working down. I mean, looks like both actually, wow, 185 kills with both of these Dacian bowmen. Yep, yep, both of them right there. Chariots, go. Just get easy kills. Get the easy kills. Kill the Dacian bow. The, the, right yep, get them. Charge into them. Oh, where's he going? Oh, looks like he is going to charge in here now. Okay. Mm, nope, he's trying to get through the middle. Oh, no, there we go. There we go. Getting into these Dacian Heavy Bowmen. Should get a decent amount of kills. Should be able to get a decent amount of kills. Really needs to keep clicking through the unit, though. 
get these get the uh, chariots to work really, really well. You have to keep pressing through. I see the Syracuse general over here. Oh man, he is getting murdered. Royal Peltas, yeah. Royal Peltas having the time of their lives against the Hippias Lancer general down to 17 men. Still have the companion cavalry way over there, 114 kills. Looks like they've hidden themselves. No, they're still moving, but they're slowly moving, trying to maybe uh, drop that. They're down, what are they at, winded? All right, so we got more Royal Peltas over here holding in these mercenary Sam Knight warriors. Now, unfortunately for the Celtic Slayer, oh no, they are firing. Yep, they are getting shots in there. Okay, I didn't think that they could, but I guess because the buildings are low enough, they will be able to get shots over here into this back of this uh, mercenary Sam Knight warrior who's definitely losing the fight right now, taking on this Royal Peltas unit. We do have a unit of mercenary Balearic Slingers here for Syracuse up on the wall. Maybe they're going to be able to get some shots down, but I think we're about to see the end of the Hippias Lancer General as a Royal Peltas unit just charged right into them. And yeah. That is definitely going to be the end of the uh, Hippias Lancer General. He's down to one. Nope, he just broke. Just broke. So I want to say the General is dead. Yes, he is. General is absolutely dead. Back over here on the front, the Iceni Chariots were able to actually break through here, but now they're going to get bogged down. Tribal Warriors getting over here. The Rayo Spears right there, and there they go. Chariot unit out of here. 140 kills. I mean, so the Iceni Chariots only costing 900 gold. Uh, oh, what is this? Is that the Bactrian General? Bactrian Royal Cavalry General came outside? Oh, well, I mean, he killed... He got some of the archers. I don't think he got a whole lot, but ooh, look at this. Ambushers for Iceni. Coming over here, get inside the settlement. Inside the settlement, looks like they're going to make their way towards the town center. Ooh, that could be big. That could be a good little move right there. A lot of Egypt still outside. Light of Iceni still outside. Seleucid now making his way over on this side. I mean... I have to say, so far to this point, it does look like Syracuse has made the most uh, most advance into the settlement. Rayo Spears just wrecking these pikemen, though. Routing. Done. Nine kills. Ooh. Let's we'll start firing at the other one here with only eight kills. He's got a lot of units over here, though. A lot of his units. Oh, is this companion cavalry caught out? No, he's, he, he did scout, though. He saw three units of tribal warriors. So that's definitely a good thing. Definitely a good thing. You know, scouting out, seeing what's further on in the settlement. But again, another pike unit. Just getting wrecked. Getting wrecked. Down to 54 left. Is that out? 43 kills. Still got more range firing over here. No, they've seen heavy bowmen. 142 kills. Looks like they may be... Oh, no, no, they're not out. Nope, Freyo Spears are not out. Still firing away. Looks like he just moved them a little bit closer to get some more accurate javelin volleys there. But it does look like that uh, pikeman unit. I mean, really, really big losses for that pike. Really huge losses. The other unit we already saw get broken completely. They are out of here. So, all right, here we go. So, Lucid now making his way over here. Elephants making their way back over there as well. We do see the Osworn General and a Royal Peltast. This companion cavalry is really taking a bit of a risk over here. Ambushers making their way forward. Still has two units outside, so he's only moving one ambusher unit here at a time. Interesting. Definitely an interesting uh, thing right there. Back over here, Orax Swordsman for Egypt again, just getting completely mauled on the wall here. Not a whole hell of a lot of kills. Being held up by Thoreo Spears. You guys firing? Nope, they don't. I don't think they need to. I really don't think they need to. Battery, another unit of Thorax Swordsmen on the wall getting up there. Going to help this Thoreo Spear out against that Egyptian Thorax Swordsman. What is this? Is this regular Thorax? No, it is a Royal Thorax Swordsman now coming up here. Okay. Uh, we have, unfortunately, a Syrian Archer got up on the wall, but they really are not very well defended. Battery and Hillman going to get up there. Probably going to finish off the rest of that Hillman unit. Thorax Swordsman here for Seleucid doing battle against the Thorax Swordsman of Bactria. You can see the battery and Thorax Swordsman just holding the line again. Just holding the line. Syrian archers unloading the Syrian archer over there. Looks like both of them are firing. Now, Bactrian's general is dead. So we do need to remember that. The Bactrian's general is dead. So the morale for the Bactrian units is going to be lessened for the rest of this battle. But it, again, just doesn't look like it really matters all that much. Syrian archers up on the wall here. Two bronze chevrons with 110 kills. What did they kill? 
What did they kill to get that many chevrons? What were they shooting at? Were they shooting at tribals, maybe? I don't know. Uh, another unit of Thorax swords went up on the wall over here. Again, just being hemmed in. Just being held up on the wall. Syrian archers there. 109 kills. They may be out of ammo. Rough. Really, really rough here. Trying to be as constructive as I possibly can. I mean, this is a big pushover on this side now. Really, really big push with Seleucid getting a lot of his melee infantry over here. So hopefully they'll be able to start doing some damage. What is this? Thoreos Spears, Samnite Warriors, 101 kills. Still breaking through here, but what do we have right behind them? Another unit of Axe Warriors there for Gete. Down 12 men. This looks like it's being pushed back. Yes, it definitely is. Oh, we got Thorax Pikemen over on this side. Uh, so Syracuse actually came all the way around over here to capture up this tower, which is, I mean, when you can capture a tower, it's not a bad idea, but I think this Axe Warrior unit is going to come over here and take this Balearic Slinger unit out. 230 kills, though, so they definitely did use all of their stones, so good job there with that Balearic Slinger. This unit here with only nine, oh, that's a uh, Archer unit with 91 kills. Balearic here again up on the wall, 115, so I think that's what's actually kind of helping this Sam Knight Warrior out just a little bit more. Axe Warriors did charge in, though. 124 kills for them. Where's that Companion Cavalry? Did he lose? Oh, no, no. He's still over here. Okay. Still sitting over here. We have the Iceni Ambushers inside the settlement. Looks like they're just still holding here. This is this town, this town center is pretty defended. Royal Peltes General, Usborn General. Yeah, very, very strong generals there holding that uh, town center. Chariots again for Iceni making their way over here. Is that his fun? No, he's got one more sitting over here. One more sitting over there. Uh, tower, unfortunately, now engulfed in flames. Looks like something is trying to climb up. Oh, it's a Royal Thorax Swordsman. Oh, they're going to die. Look at all these men. I'm just going just gonna to zoom in on this. We can watch them die. Yeah. Rough. So I'm going to explain what happened right there. I'm going to guess that the player tried to have them start coming up on this tower, but sometimes... Uh, the unit will just move and start using another tower if this one isn't moving fast enough, if that makes sense. So very unfortunate for that Royal Thorax Swordsman, down to 132 men. You can see a lot of them are up on the wall on this side. He's trying to get them back through. I think they're fighting, what are they fighting? Bactrian, oh, a routed unit of Bactrian Hillman. 118 Bactrian, oh, probably because the general died. More than likely, that's what it is. Uh, the defender's actually missing a bit of an opportunity right here. Could easily just walk right there and capture up these towers again. You can see that that is the Syracuse flag right there. So the attackers have uh, control of this gate. So the defenders should definitely just move over here. Even if they don't recapture it, just neutralize it. Just neutralize it. What do we got here? Bactrian horse archers right there. That's the unit we saw outside originally. Where are the elephants? Ah, there they are. Elephants over here, getting kills. 215 kills. Looks like they just stomped their way through something. Not really sure what all they hit. This Balearic Slinger unit, 112 left in the unit. Again, Mercenary Sam Knights, 120 kills for them. But again, uh, pretty rough. Pretty rough there. Sam Knights usually in the neighborhood of about 150, maybe 200 kills to get their full payout. Uh, Thorax Swordsman over here getting killed. We have another Axe Warrior now getting up on the wall. Yep. Oh, they didn't come over here. I thought for sure they were going to come over here and just kill this and kick it back real fast. Interesting. Uh, another unit of Thorax Pikemen here from Mastodon making their way forward. This Thorax Pikemen got wrecked. Only three kills down to 46 men. They're routing. The banner is still there. They may come back. Maybe they'll come back. But yeah, so far the defenders are doing a really great job. You can see the balance of power has shifted very, very far. I mean, it was pretty close at the beginning, but the balance power has absolutely shifted in favor of the defenders. Uh, we do have some of the ambushers have finally made their way over here, made their presence known. Getting into the back of a Syrian archer that had zero kills, and they actually just broke them completely. Very sneaky. Very sneaky move there. Another unit of the ambushers coming around over here. Now, this companion cavalry, yeah, this would definitely be a nice opportunity for this companion cavalry. Maybe get into the back of that Bactrian uh, Horse Archer unit there. Could definitely kill off some more of these Cretan Archers, Persian Light Archers there as well. And there's only a couple of units of Hillmen sitting over here. Bactrian Hillmen. So they could definitely get in there. Uh, let's see what else we have. Another unit of Royal Thorax Swords went up on the wall. But it looks like they're about to be charged. Tribal Warriors making their way over there. Are they trying to get in there? Oh, this is the Royal Thorax Swordsman unit actually is fighting. Already fighting against the Thorax Swordsman there. We have the Britain Slingers. 
for Iceni trying to fire up on the wall. Got a little bit of a break here on the front part of the wall. You guys can see that right here. Let me just zoom in on it. See, this front part of the wall right there is broken down, so the Iceni Slingers are actually able to get some shots in there, but again, I don't really know how much of a payoff they're really getting. Let's see what they have. 56, 37, and 4. So really not a whole lot of kills just yet. Back over on the other side here, let's see what's going on. A lot of tribal warriors have made their way over here. Thorax Swordsman, 4 Seleucid taking on some more Noble Swords. The Rayo Spears in there, 59 kills. Another unit of the Thorax Swordsman, 4 Seleucid, has pressed in, but unfortunately, looks like they are now starting to be surrounded. Tribal Warriors doing damage, Thorax Swords in there for Macedon and two other units. Oh, no, those are Osworn right there, too. Oof. Osworn, two Tribal Warriors, and a Thorax Swordsman there holding the line very, very effectively so far. We actually have some foot... Wait a second. Foot Companions for Gete? Uh, that's not supposed to be there. That is really not a unit that's supposed to be there. Uh, back over here, the Companion Cavalry looks like they are starting to try and do some damage. They're going to be held up by a Bactri and Horse Archer unit. I'm not really sure what all they did, but Iceni is doing some work over here now, finally. He's got some of his ambushers over here getting into the Hillman. Thorax Swordsman for Bactria chasing this unit down. Nice javelin volley there. Going to get rid of this Bactria and Hillman unit. So that's, I mean, again, it's a step in the right direction. 267 on an ambusher. Pretty solid, but again, oh uh, yeah, looks like they're about to get taken out. Looks like they're really about to get taken out. Thorax coming, Thorax coming over here. I don't really think these ambushes are going to be able to hold up. It's pretty much full units. Yeah, full unit of Thorax there. Full unit of Thorax Swordsman there. I mean, this ambusher unit is still very, very strong. The defenders are actually recapturing the gate, which is big. I see any, I feel like maybe I see any missed out on an opportunity there to try and get that heroic rider general into the settlement. Uh, companion, oh wait, let's see what the companion cavalry is doing. 180 kills down to 27 men. They are losing, definitely losing. Tribal warriors are like, nah, you got that. We're gonna make, we're gonna make our way back over here. We're gonna try and help on this side of the fence. We have the elephants sitting right there, 227 kills. They actually didn't lose any of them. They did not lose a single elephant yet. Got some shield bearers over here taking on the tribal warriors. Axe, uh, mercenary axe warriors up on the wall again, getting into these star axe swords. But now the attackers have control of this gate, which is allowing this axe warrior to start getting shot down. Uh, we do also have another unit of Balearic Slingers there. 180 kills for them, firing away. More noble swords making their way over here for Gete. Look at the amount of range that's still sitting outside. Have these guys really shot? 17, 42, 21, and 8. So a lot of ammo still here. Cretan archers, Nubian bowmen, Nubian bowmen, Cretan archers for Egypt there. Let's see what he still has outside. Thorax pikemen, two units of those. Royal Peltas and his Royal Thorax swordsman general. Uh, Chariot's still sitting over there. I wonder if maybe he's just waiting for an opportunity. Again, I feel like that opportunity was lost, though, by losing the gate, losing the control of the gate. Uh, I see he still has his... I mean, he's still got five units of his uh, heroic nobles over here, but unfortunately, the defenders, it's teetering back and forth between them capturing it and not capturing it. I think they're going to recapture this gatehouse very, very easily. Royal Thorax Swordsman, 290... I'm sorry, 235 kills. They had 95 men. Now down to 91. Starting to get into the back over here. Ambushers, 162 kills. But it does look like that other unit was unfortunately taken out. Bactrian horse archers coming around over here again. I mean, oh wait, no, no, they still have the defenders at the gate. Never, that, that tower, not gate, sorry. So yeah, so far this has been a really, really tough attack. Um, didn't look like it was very coordinated, just to say that, just to try and be honest. Uh, with, I mean, just everybody spreading out instead of attacking together as one force over on this side to try and brute force their way in here. That more than likely would have been, had a better turnout for the attackers. But I mean, I see he still has a ton of infantry here. A ton of really strong infantry has all four of his slingers still as well. So, I mean, there's still a potential over on this side for Iceni, but it does look like he is going to pull away from the wall. Uh, Royal Thorax Swordsman still in here, chugging along. Almost 300 kills for the Royal Thorax Swordsman. Picking on the mercenary Syrian Archers Thorax Swordsman there. The Bactrian Royal Horse, I'm sorry, Bactrian Royal Horse. The Bactrian Horse Archers actually got a rear charge in onto the back of that Royal Thorax. Unit is losing 310 kills, though. 310 kills. Uh, what do we got coming over here? 
more back at Hillman. Is this unit out? 112 kills. Nope, they're not. They are not. They still it says that they're firing. Oh, but never mind. They don't need to fire. Oh, he's gonna fire anyway. Sure, fire in there. Kill. Make sure those Royal Thorax are dead. All right. So there you go. This side has been extremely well defended. Uh, over here we have chariots. Looks like here we go. Chariots coming through. Are they pulling away? Nope. He's pulling away. I think maybe he was gonna try and sneak him through there, but with the amount of defenders that are over here, again, foot companions for Gete. Uh, they get spears. They don't get pikes. So I don't really know if this was allowed or if Kete kind of pulled a little bit of a fast move here. It's possible. We can see you guys easily go to the uh, Kete unit roster and you'll see that they do not get foot companions at all. Really don't get foot companions. Uh, big scrum still taking place over on this side. The attacker is still trying to press in. Tribal Warriors doing a pretty good job. Osworn over here. Unfortunately, they are exhausted. Tribal Warrior here, 27 kills, 18 kills there. So it looks like a lot of these tribals just getting over here, starting to get involved in the fight. Shield Bearers trying to do the best that they can, taking on Noble Swords, Tribal Warriors. That's going to be a tough fight. There's Pikes here. We have Thorax Pikemen here, two units stacked next together there for Egypt. If he does start pressing them in, I would hope that these Thorax and this Pick Hop Light pull back. So we don't have, you know, so we don't have pike stacking. Uh, back over on this side, looks like we have a little bit, maybe, of a respite for the attackers. Got some chariots right there. 22 kills. Oh, no. More pikes. More pikes, and they... Yep, they're going to come over here and block off right there. Syrian archers starting to fire. Let's see. Are they going to start firing over there? 114 kills. Probably not a whole lot of ammo left for them. But we do have a Thorax now making their way down the wall. Maybe they're going to try and get around into the back. Nope, they're pulling back. Got Balearix on the wall. Yep, Balearix right there. 181 kills. Daggers out. Yes, daggers out. Unfortunately, it looks like they are out of ammunition as well. Uh, this tower over here is still under control for the attackers. Balearix Slingers now making their way off the wall. 230 kills, like I made mention a little while ago. Good amount of kills, but oh, ambushers. That is not going to go well. Not going to go well there at all. Noble Sword General coming over here. <clears throat> Ambush is taking on the Royal Peltasts. The mother wants blood. The mother wants blood. But I think these ambushers, unfortunately, are going to be the blood that gets spilt. I don't think they're going to survive very much longer. Uh, Iceni now pressing back up onto the walls again, or pressing back to the walls. Fortunately, just sending one unit of heroic nobles up here at a time. He's got one unit of Balearic Slingers right there. Also, I mean, if anything, in all seriousness, if anything, I would just move over there if I, if I was Iceni. There, there's no real point in continue try, continuing to try and attack. What happened here? How does that giant ballista have double silver chevrons with 35 kills? What were they killing? 35 kills. I, I don't know what they killed. I don't know what they killed. Maybe they were already chevron when they came in. But, oh, look at this. Chariots. So, yeah, the, the Thorax Swordsman did get down, get into the back of those Thorax Pikemen. Chariots are now free to get through. 50 kills for them so far. Blurk Slingers still That's moving around over there. Chariots have a free run at some Celtic Slingers. Is that still the same unit? I think that's the same unit that Companion Cavalry hit originally. But there we go. Chariots getting a little bit of a response. Not a whole lot of a response, but a response nonetheless. Damn! Getting into those Celtic Slingers. We have a unit of Cretan Archers coming back. Oh, he's going to get into the Cretan Archer unit as well. All right. 115 kills. I mean, it's just ranged units, but still. Still 115 kills. Uh, Foot Companions making their way over here. What is this? Another unit of Horse Bactrian and Horse Archers again. Oh, they moved over here. That's that same unit, I think. I think that was that same unit that was over here. Oh, God. The Indian Armored Elephants are over here now. Heroic Nobles, just one unit of Heroic Nobles on the wall. Trying to take on Tribal Warriors. That is not going to work out very well. Are these elephants coming outside? Oh, no. That could definitely spell the end of the Iceni force over here. Let's see, actually, do they have any javelins? Doesn't look like they have very many kills. Yeah, Heroic Nobles don't have any kills. Slingers, 33, uh, 56, and 52. 
Unfortunately, he did send another unit of these slingers up on the wall, basically to their deaths. Thorax swordsman killed them off very, very easily. And here we go, the Indian armored elephants getting stones thrown at them. 30 armor. We have javelins. Hopefully we have some javelins. Okay, no, those are still stones. Still stones being thrown at the Indian armored elephants. Javelin volley took out. Okay, he killed two elephants. Not bad. Out of control now, though, for the elephants. Is that cavalry? Oh, no, I thought I heard cavalry over here. Elephants getting in there. 240 kills, 250 kills. Out of control. But, I mean, hopefully they don't come back. Oh, they are coming back this way. So I think this heroic noble unit's probably going to get murdered. Might actually get into these slingers here as well. 262, 272, 282, 292, 302. Yeah, he's climbing. Climbing up, back under control for the player. I see he trying to run his infantry away. I don't think that's going to be very effective, though. I mean, they still have javelins. He could easily try and spread these units out around a little bit and maybe get shots into those elephants to try and kill them off. 369 on an Indian armored elephant now, just chasing Iceni down. Just chasing him down. We have the heroic rider general sitting over here. Let's get back inside. See how we're looking over here. We have some of the thorax pikemen for Egypt have pressed forward. Actually, both units have pressed forward. Starting to do some damage. 85 kills there. 127 kills there. Egypt and Seleucid still having control over on this side. Very small unit of thorax pikemen coming back. Royal Peltas general there. But I'm kind of really interested to see. I mean, I think these elephants are doing damage. 441 now, yeah. They haven't lost another one. Just stomping. Just doing work. Stomping down on this entire Iceni army. Very, very, very difficult to watch. But again, it's a learning process. It is a learning process. Nobody came into Total War Games as a professional. Quote, professional. And yes, I did actually just use air quotes. 488 on the elephants coming back. They're going to get into this unit. Yep. Smash right into this heroic noble unit. Now, they're in shield walls, so they're going to be a hold back a little bit on that front part. But elephants now surrounding the unit. I don't think this heroic noble is going to be around very much longer. 526 on an elephant. Crazy. Uh, we do have the heroic nobles making their way over there. Looks like they are going to try and meet up with their allies. Back over here, I think the ambushes are all dead. Looks like they are. Bactrius still has a decent amount of infantry over here. We have a heroic noble still up on the wall. 37 kills, though, unfortunately. I think the arrow towers are just doing all the damage. 166 with that thorax there. This unit here with 151. So maybe the thorax got some kills. But it's definitely the arrow towers killing off the rest of that heroic noble. They're out of here. Let's see what this one's looking at. Uh, still have not killed another one. Heroic right. Nobles down to 129 men. Honestly, just pull the elephants away. Pull them away. Get them out of there before you start losing more men. 567. Brutal. Brutal, brutal, brutal. Chariots again charging in over here onto the front line. Trying to get into the tribals. I mean, they're doing work. These nobles could, uh, well, the noble swords could absolutely, even the tribals could switch into their uh, pike, into their shield wall. And just hold these chariots in place. Heroic Rider General now coming around over here for Iceni. Iceni Chariots. Only lost one. 85 kills. Pulling back out of combat. Almost over 100 kills. And there you go. Over 100 kills now. This defensive line has now completely shattered. Not really. Oh, that's probably why right there. Look at this grouping of archers. 60 kills. 69 giggity. 122. 147. I wonder. That probably had a lot to do with this front breaking over on this side. Really probably had a lot to do with it. Uh, back over here, elephants still completely fine. I mean, he's lost one more elephant from the last time we saw him. We actually have Thorax Swordsman for Bactria now coming around over here. But the balance of power is now magically in favor of the attackers. Was that just because of this whole break over here on the front? Oh, look at this. Seleucid pressing towards the town center. They actually have control. How did they capture the town center? But they don't have it. It's neutralized. We got an Osworn general just sitting right here. Where is the rest of the defense? Did they just throw everything over here? Looks like they did. Chariots, 128 kills now. Here comes the heroic nobles making their way over here. Guys, is this going to be like a total turnaround battle for the, for the attackers? It really looks like that's what's happening right now. 
It really looks like it's turned around completely. Do we have any ranged units that still have ammo over here? Nope, they look like they're out. Slingers? Nope, 230. That was the unit that we saw come around. Okay, here's the Noble Swords, completely exhausted. And he does not, unfortunately, doesn't have the refresh ability for his general. So he did not bring the strategist ability. Uh, some more of defending units making their way back over here. Here comes a battery in Horse Archer. With only 100, oh, sorry, 119 kills. What has two? Oh, the Rogue Riders. All right, so there we go. We're going to charge in onto this Balearic Slinger unit. Bash right through them. Not a problem at all. Thorax Swordsman going over here. Going to try and take on the Noble Sword. Shield Bearers coming in here. Here comes the, yep, they bashed right through there. They're going to come over here now. Get into the back of this Thorax Swordsman. Help this Noble Sword General out. Little bit of a charge. Little bit of a charge. Not the greatest of charges, but still... Oh, no, I've, I take my words back. Apparently, it was just enough of a charge to break that Thorax Swordsman unit. Shattered them. Well, not shattered. They routed them, I should say. Wow. What happened over there? Balance of power is absolutely in favor for the attackers. We still have the elephants out over here. 686 kills. Two units still trying to take on this one heroic noble. Unfortunately, only 21 kills. Looks like that may be the end. Yeah, there they go. There they go. Indian Armored Elephants putting in the work. There they go. Rorik Noble's gone. So these defending units now desperately need to get back inside. Like, anything that's still over here for the defenders really need to start making their way back towards the town center. We have a lot of Bactrian units coming back around over here. Persian Light Archers, Syrian Archers, Bactrian Hillmen, Thorax Swordsman there, Tribal Warriors now coming around over here. Noble Sword General was completely victorious over on that side against that Thorax because of the Horse Archers. Looks like the defenders now are starting to surround the attackers, but a lot of ammo coming in here again. Get shots in onto the back of that Osworn General. Again, in Shield Wall. Get out of Shield Wall, just attack. Just attack, but again... Oh, wait, wait, wait. What is this? Oh, uh, it's just the foot companions. I, I mean, I, I say it's just the foot companions. And I say that because Gente doesn't get yeah. foot companions. So that that definitely sucks that they brought them. Uh, they're going to... Oh, they're going to get the pikes down? They did. They did, but it's easy enough. Chariots or the cavalry can just come right around the side. Oh, no, nope, they're actually running into the, uh, into the pikes there a little bit with the chariots. Down to nine. Looks like they're held up. 213 kills, though, with the chariot. Not bad. But the heroic rider general now is easily going to be able to come around, get a nice charge in onto the back of these boys. Oh, he's still charging forward. Okay, so in this moment right here, Iceni really wanted to make sure that the whole unit was over here, blocked up together, before he started to try and go around. Because you can see a lot of these heroic riders are on the front side of the pikes, just getting dropped. There's a decent amount of them right there. Pikes have actually now turned around, are pressing back into that Heroic Rider. Royal Thorax Swordsman over here. Don't think they have any job. Oh, they do. There you go. Murder Sticks. Oh, those guys died. Now the Pikes are moving forward. But again, now they're... Yeah, see, this Pike unit is now in a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble. He's got Royal Thorax on one side. He's got the Heroic Rider General on the other side. So there's really no direction that he can go to be safe. Because if he tries to go after the Royal Thorax, he's going to die from the Heroic Riders and obviously the same from the other side. Heroic, yeah, the uh, Royal Thorax Swordsman just go in, fake that unit out, and there they go. Heroic Riders getting in there. 93 kills. And now with them, you, yeah, they're still in melee. I mean, they're still in Pike Phalanx, but now they're surrounded completely. Pikes are probably facing towards the horses, allowing the Royal Thorax Swordsman General to get in there. Guys, I, I'm going to give a lot of credit. I guess I'm going to give a lot of credit to the Egyptian archers over here because it looks like they did the majority of the work over here because everything over here just got beaten up. And all of a sudden, they just started breaking immediately. I didn't see the archers over there initially. So very well done there by the Egyptian player. Uh, back inside the town center over here, though, more battery forces getting over here. Beating up Thorax Swords, 175, 153. Syrian, I'm sorry, Persian Light Archers taking on some of the Nubian Bowmen here. Bactrian Hillman, another Syrian Archer right there. 
Backtree and Horse Archer still alive. 230. F oh, they just broke. Okay. I was going to say, still alive. 234 kills. Good amount of kills with them, though. Noble Sword General over here trying to hold as long as he can. Taking on a Shield Bearer General. Another Shield Bearer right there. Taking out the Thorax. Guys, I don't even know. I, I, like I said, I gave credit to the Egyptian archers for firing over here, but I don't even know if that's what won the battle. I really don't know what, what, what that was or if that was what broke the battle. But here comes the chariots again for Iceni. Obviously, I'm fast-forwarding here. Iceni's just going to get in there. And nice charge. So he's at 220 now. 229, still pulling through. 240, 250, 260. Oh, wait a second. Maybe this isn't over completely. I mean, the elephants were really far out there. The elephants... Yeah, I want to say if the elephants were still in here, if they hadn't gone outside... This might be a problem for the def uh, for the attackers. But, yeah, everything's wavering now for the last little bit of units for the defenders. Nine seconds left. Strange battle, but strange battles happen all the time. In all seriousness, strange battles happen all the time. And again, like I made mention, I want to say that there was a lot of newer players in this battle. So, good job, guys. I mean, you did what you could do. You did what you could do. All right, let's take a look at the Army Cops. We'll start off here with eye exams playing as I seen. He was the one that sent the replay over, so thank you very much, bud, for sending it in. 1,719 kills. Uh, 120 with his general. His chariots, 104, 140, 238, 267. Great job with his chariots. Uh, his ambushers, 319 kills with one of them, 186 with the other. Slingers, unfortunately, didn't get a whole lot. His heroic nobles did not do very well at all. And the Levy Freeman got killed. Getting in with Syracuse here. Let's wait for that to click. Come on, there we go. I hate Kush players playing as Syracuse 25-25, 222 with the General, 246 with the Companion Cavalry, Regular Archers 116, Balerics 181, 230, pretty good with those two units, Sam Knights 122, 160, Pick Top Lights 267, 137, his Pikes got annihilated, we watched that happen, uh, his Thorax Swords in 232, 238, 115, so there it goes there, Stacy Uppercut 2,432 kills with Egypt, great job. 166 with the general. Now, again, I say great job for the overall kills, um, but that initial onslaught with the walls, again, all of those thorax that went up on, a, on, the, on the wall attacked by themselves. I want to say it was these three units. They just got killed. Really need to get archer uh, cover to move up. You need to get your ranged up closer to try and help with the press on the walls. But again, rural thorax swordsman general, 168 kills. Cretans, 146, 170. Nubian bowman, 217, 152. Royal Peltas, 249. Other Royal Thorax right there, 326. Good job there. Uh, Pikes actually did good, 196, 241. Thorax Swords in 198. And, yeah, that's about it there. And then we have Wet Duck here playing as Lucid, 1882. Fun year. Uh, Shield Bearers there with 146 kills. Syrian Archers, 113, 145, 111. His other two units of Shield Bearers here, 136, 148. All of his thorax, let's take a look, see what we got. 118, 179, 114, 154. Yeah, all the rest of these. So, what did he have? 12. So, eight units of thorax, unfortunately, did not do very well. Getting it out to the defenders, we'll take a look at 7 Knight 97 playing as Gete. 1882 kills. 1800, uh, 1822 kills, I should say. Uh, his Noble Sword General 199. Archer's just field day. 142, 175, 189, 186. Great job there. Again, Foot Companions. Gete doesn't get Foot Companions. Uh, Mercenary Axe Warriors, 157, 114. The other two units didn't do very well. And the rest of his Noble Swords, we have a 152 and a 199. Then we have Grecos here playing as Macedon, 1831. 124 with the General. His Archers, 145, 202, 111. So three out of the four of his Archers did pretty well. Royal Peltas did not do very well there. They, they, they kind of got beaten up pretty good. Thorax Pikeman, unfortunately not. Thorax Swordsman, 188, 109, 138, 110. I'm uh, sorry, 100. And it's the Reos, one unit there with 151. Then we have Jaspis here playing as Tylus, 11, 15, 46 with his general. The Raiding Horseman actually did really, really well. Uh, unfortunately, his Celtic Slingers did not do very well. Other two units of Osworn, top was an 84 there. Tribal Warriors, a lot of Tribal Warriors. Yeah, that was pretty much the bulk of his army. Uh, 114, 195, and that's it. Yeah, the rest of his tribals did not do very well. His Thracian Warriors there with 28. And we have Scotty G175 playing as Bactria. 2,980 kills. Great job. 
Really, really solid job there. General, unfortunately, got 61 kills. I don't, I, I didn't see him come outside of the settlement. Um, so that was definitely a rough go there. His Indian armored elephants, though, almost 700 kills. 234 with the battery and horse archers. 234. That's crazy. 154 with the other battery and horse, uh, battery and royal cavalry, I should say. Syrian archers, 144, 132. His Persian light archers, 150. Battery and hillmen, 105. Getting into his thorax, 126, 69 giggity. 163, 209, 157, 248, and 112. So there you go, guys. Ended about a replay. Hopefully, some people learned some stuff about this uh, this battle uh, as far as unit movements and, you know, covering the rest of your army, mo army movements, stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, there you go. That is the end. So hopefully you enjoyed. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, share the content around. But that is going to be the end for me. So I'm going to say, say see you later. Hopefully you have a good rest of your day. Stay safe. And as always, until the next one. Hey guys, I just wanted to take this opportunity to send a special thanks to my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members. Thank you very much for your continued support. I really appreciate it.